30 years on the run and police finally caught up with the Italian mob in their words, the boss of all bosses. Matteo Messina Denaro spent half of his 60 years on the run. The Italian equivalent of the FBI caught up with him at a private cancer treatment center. His criminal career began at the age of 18 as a bodyguard and professional killer. He went on from there. Uh, arrest of the last godfather, according to Reuters, deals new blow to alien Sicilian mafia. Joining me now, Michael Alcazar, former NYPD detective who in, was involved in organized crime and major crime at NYPD. All right, uh, can we really say this is the end of the mafia? Um, I think the Italian police might want to say that, but the reality is um, the mafia just makes a lot of money. Uh, they flourish in the underground economy. They also infiltrated regular businesses. It's just way too much money for them to end the, the, their venture. Um, I read somewhere that 9% of the world economy is coming from the mafia. So no, I don't see it as being the end. They might already have somebody in place to take over for De Niro. Yeah, you, you think that if there's not one person, there's three or four who would love the job, considering how much how much money there are. Um, this is quote from the last Godfather. Messa Messa was the last Godfather who represented all the secrets of Costa Costa Nostra, which is a Sicilian mob. It is the end of a myth, and an organization will have to cope with this. You think about that. Are we going to, at some point, sort of wish for the times of the mob when there were rules compared to how you have organized crime now split up between the Russians, the Colombians, the El Salvadorians, some of the Chinese gangs uh, that are now all fighting for turf in the United States? Well, that just gives you an example of how much money is there to be made, right? It gave birth to all these other organizations. Uh, something else to think about. Did they, did this guy, did they just catch this guy after 30 years? I mean, who is this guy, Mandrake? After 30 years, they finally find him. We caught Bin Laden a lot quicker than this guy. So it gives me pause to think that maybe they just handed this guy over. This guy's got cancer. They know he's going to die. They probably got somebody in place already, and they just, they, they gave the Italian government a boon. It also shows that maybe they might still have their political contacts. It makes me, makes me think about that a little bit. How close is the relationship between what's happening in, in Italy uh, to what happens with the with the mob in New York? They, they, are they syndicates of each other? I think they have close ties in New York, right? The five families in New York, they travel back and forth. I read somewhere that De Niro traveled from Italy to New York, so he still has close ties to New York. I'm so just I think read you this one quote. Um, yeah. This is from Denaro from 2005. I only care about being a fair man. I have made fairness my philosophy of life, and I hope to die a fair man. It's almost like the mob still holds themselves out as Robin Hood or something. Yeah, it's funny. When you watch these guys talk about the mafia, they, they, they hate the government. They hate how the government taxes everything. They see themselves as doing the same thing, only in an underground economy version. So they, I, I believe they don't see themselves as bad guys. They're just trying to do something, make uh, money for their, their families. And, and you're right. They see themselves as, as Robin is giving money back to, to their families. Well, certainly they bought a lot of protection uh, along the way. It's good to see you, sir. Thanks for your expertise. We appreciate it. Have a good night. Yes, sir. You as well. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.